We live in the best of all possible worlds. What is, is what must be. Take what you need, do what you should, you will get what you want. To love is to find pleasure in the happiness of others. Why is there anything at all, rather than nothing whatsoever? Everything that is possible demands to exist. Make me the, the master of education, and I will undertake to change the world. The present is saturated with the past and pregnant with the future. Music is a hidden arithmetic exercise of the soul, which does not know that it is counting. There are also two kinds of truths. Truth of reasoning and truths of fact. It is unworthy of excellent men to lose hours like slaves in the labor of calculation, which could be relegated to anyone else if machines were used. The greatness of a life can only be estimated by the multitude of its actions. We should not count the years, it is our actions which constitute our life. When God works miracles, he does not do it in order to supply the wants of nature, but those of grace. Whoever thinks otherwise must needs have a very mean notion of the wisdom and power of God. The world is not a machine. Everything in it is force, life, thought. I am convinced that the unwritten knowledge scattered among men of different callings surpasses in quantity and in importance anything we find in books and that the greater part of our wealth has yet to be recorded. The art of discovering the causes of phenomena or true hypothesis is like the art of deciphering in which an ingenious conjecture greatly shortens the road. Music is a secret and unconscious mathematical problem of the soul. Philosophy consists mostly of kicking up a lot of dust and then complaining that you can't see anything. Music is the pleasure the human mind experiences from counting without being aware that it is counting. nothing is accomplished all at once and it is one of my great maxims and one of the most completely verified that nature makes no leaps a maxim which i have called the law of continuity it is worth noting that the notation facilitates discovery this in a most wonderful way reduces the mind's labor Thus God alone is the primary unity, or original simple substance, from which all monads, created and derived, are produced. The present is big with the future, the future might be read in the past, the distant is expressed in the near. He who understands Archimedes and Apollonius, will admire less the achievements of the foremost men of later times. He who hasn't tasted bitter things hasn't earned sweet things. Reality cannot be found except in one single source, because of the interconnection of all things with one another. Every substance is as a world apart, independent of everything else except God. The larger the mass of collected things, the less will be their usefulness. Therefore one should not only strive to assemble new goods from everywhere, but one must endeavor to put in the right order those that one already possesses. Nothing is necessitated whose opposite is possible. 
To love is to be delighted by the happiness of someone, or to experience pleasure upon the happiness of another. I define this as true love. The pleasure we obtain from music comes from counting, but counting unconsciously. Music is nothing but unconscious arithmetic. Although the whole of this life was said to be nothing but a dream, and the physical world nothing but a phantasm, I should call this dream or phantasm real enough, if using reason well, we were never deceived by it. A great doctor kills more people than a great general. In my judgment, an organic machine new to nature never arises, since it always contains an infinity of organs, so that it can express, in its own way, the whole universe. Indeed it always contains all past and present times. We should like nature to go no further, we should like it to be finite, like our mind, but this is to ignore the greatness and majesty of the author of things. All things in God are spontaneous. Every mind has a horizon in respect to its present intellectual capacity, but not in respect to its future intellectual capacity. And there must be simple substances, because there are compounds, for the compound is nothing but a collection or aggregatum of simples. Imaginary numbers are a fine and wonderful refuge of the Divine Spirit, almost an amphibian between being and non-being. Justice is charity in accordance with wisdom. Taking mathematics from the beginning of the world to the time when Newton lived, what he had done was much the better half. There is nothing waste, nothing sterile, nothing dead in the universe. No chaos, no confusions, save in appearance. The words here you can find perfect peace, can be written only over the gates of a cemetery. I hold that the mark of a genuine idea is that its possibility can be proved, either a priori by conceiving its cause or reason, or a posteriori when experience teaches us, that it is in fact in nature. God makes nothing without order, and everything that forms itself develops imperceptibly out of small parts. To love is to take delight in happiness of another, or what amounts to the same thing, it is to account another's happiness as one's own. But it is the knowledge of necessary and eternal truths which distinguishes us from mere animals, and gives us reason and the sciences, raising us to knowledge of ourselves and God. It is this in us, which we call the rational soul or mind. Nothing is more important than to see the sources of invention, which are in my opinion, more interesting than the inventions themselves. It's easier to be original and foolish than original and wise. I have said more than once that I hold space to be something purely relative as time, an order of coexistences, as time is an order of successions. It is God who is the ultimate reason things and the knowledge of God is no less the beginning of science than his essence and will are the beginning of things. I hold that it is only when we can prove everything we assert, that we understand perfectly the thing under consideration. It is necessary to believe, that the mixture of evil has produced the greatest possible good. Otherwise the evil would not have been permitted. There is a certain destiny of everything, regulated by the foreknowledge, and providence of God in his works. Now where there are no parts, then neither extension, nor shape, nor divisibility is possible. 
and these monads are the true atoms of nature, and, in a word, the elements of things. Indeed in general I hold, that there is nothing truer than happiness, and nothing happier and sweeter than truth. Whence it follows that God is absolutely perfect, since perfection is nothing but magnitude of positive reality, in the strict sense, setting aside the limits or bounds in things which are limited. One cannot explain words without making incursions into the sciences themselves, as is evident from dictionaries, and, conversely, one cannot present a science without at the same time defining its terms. If you have a clear idea of a soul, you will have a clear idea of a form, for it is of the same genus, though a different species. Our reasonings are grounded upon two great principles, that of contradiction, in virtue of which we judge false that which involves a contradiction, and true that which is opposed, or contradictory to the false.